it's a little bit after nine o'clock in the morning on the third of October. You're almost at the back side of your week. And I say good morning. I hope all is well. I hope that your week is playing out the way that you intended to. And I'm just sitting out here sipping on my coffee, having a cigarette, and I have a lot to share. No, I'm not in a bad mood, but you know me. When I feel it, because we are all spiritual beings, and our body is only a means for transportation on this earthly realm and plane. I obey. From my spirit, out my mouth, to the intended heart, intended mind, and the intended time. So how you doing, family? I hope that you're well. And in a town near you, in a city near you, in a state near you, this has been, these last couple weeks, been pretty eventful. A lot of examples of mankind or humankind that has been disseminated through your means of communication, maybe your daily news, the internet, or whatnot. But this morning, I, uh, you know, it's very routine for me. I get up first thing in the morning, and after the boys are up and wait, and I let them go use the bathroom, and I feed them. You know, I make, I'm making my coffee. And, you know, it is at that time, like you, you tend to reflect. Maybe involuntarily or maybe because there are things that you have yet to find conclusion to. And one thing that um jumped out of my thoughts was the fact that I remember uh, it should be over six years now because it's been can't believe it's been well over six years that I've been on YouTube um I remember I had uh did a video called the power of forgiveness and it's so amazing that, you know, we always hear people promote, you should forgive, you should forgive, you should forgive. But yet, it is always, at times, the hardest thing to do. And... As that thought crossed my mind, it made me think about where I was in my life at that time. What spawned that energy, that passion to put that video out. If you have not seen it, first of all, you're going to be surprised. Because the guy that is sitting here today is the same guy that put that video out but I don't look that way still me oh it's still same OG but I also realize that everything that you are everything that you are afforded to take on 
the things that make your your to-do list, your your challenges, your long-term, short-term goals. You know, if you look at it from a perspective like a, we'll say an onion, you'll see a lot of commonalities the deeper you go. Because you notice like an onion, the more you peel it back, the stronger its uh, aroma becomes. And at times, can trigger what? Tears, emotion, reaction, right? So, these last 30 days, and I imagine with you too, there's been a lot of examples of what you stand on. And I say that because a lot of times you'll come to realize your decision making is 50% emotion and 50% reaction. Now that's 100%. But let's take just 1% for yourself in regards to being transparent. And to do that, that means you must allow yourself to be vulnerable. Now, this can be stark for some people because some people may be in a environment, may it be emotionally, may it be financially, may it be socially, that it is triggered and that trigger may cause you to have a certain response, right? Follow me so far? But how much or when is it we finally allow ourselves for ownership? Think about it. Think about that. Now, there's a reason why I'm saying that. Because far too many times we will prioritize prioritize our day. And sometimes it may feel like because of the priority we had to compartmentalize or maybe choose to take a damn, uh, take a blind eye because it doesn't fit our emotional position. But where's the ownership in that? Where's the ownership in that? Now, let's put that to the side. You do understand or has it crossed your mind that whatever you consider a long-term goal will not happen until you acknowledge the priority of your short-term goals and what makes your short-term goals. You ever thought about that? Now, I'm saying that because I had an epiphany uh, the other day <clears throat> and I realized that when it comes to your emotional health because look it I'm grateful it's bittersweet but I say this with all compassion you have a lot of people out here now talking about mental health um, because that is the hot top, the hot word, the hot topic of the day. But yet, 
a lot of these people only talk about it because there's some type of gain in it. There's only gain in it. If, 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 if the intentions were truly genuine, you would do it not only for yourself, for your own validation. You know, each one, teach one. But it seems like socially, people take a stance on they desire notoriety so bad because deep inside, all it does is pacify the insecurity. That is why you have proverbially followers and you have leaders. Now, you may be wondering, Roger, where is all this coming from? Why have you decided to get on this video, put a video out today, and you're talking about things you've spoke to spoke about before number one because I'm passionate about it and number two because it's sincere it's, it's genuine it's genuine that's who I am now I'm going to use these two examples and then I'm going to throw them to the side we just had Splash over media. The situation of the young woman that decided to put her mortality, safety, and unfortunately, mentality at risk when she decided to go into the zoo and jump into the lion's, proverbial lion's den. Now, it later came out that it was the young woman's birthday. Okay. And then it came out that after it was recorded, it was put on social media and it went viral. So, was this energy that was put out underliningly was it because there was a need for validation for herself and it was an extreme measure that was taken because the question that should be asked is if we did not have the availability to live stream even though I know a lot of social media platforms have taken the responsibility to not allow you to live stream uh, things because of unfortunately the, the shooting incidents that happened uh, in various locations nationally uh, the shooting incident that took place uh, in New Zealand and it was live streamed and the countless, countless examples of bad behavior that was streamed through Facebook. You know, you know, they're, they're and I think the reason why uh, that was done was really a defensive tactic so they couldn't get sued. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But if that behavior did not scream, I need attention, then I don't know what else to say. No different than the father that decided to take his life on that, on that, uh, on that, that train platform and in tow 
have his five-year-old daughter and jumped off of it. And by the grace of God, she was spared. You know, far too many times, family, we give attention and celebration to bad behavior. We get infamy by way of perverted notoriety. And at the end of the day, somebody's going to make a buck off of it. And it's sad. It is sad. But still, the, the questions that need to be asked fall on deaf ears. The sourcing of the information disseminated that is put out there through various media outlets run without being vetted property, properly. You know, it makes me wonder. I, I put this video out a long time ago called What Would Marvin Say? And I was referring to Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. If you've never heard that song, that song is a classic. It's well over 30 years old. But the content that was embedded in the lyrics have reference and relevance today. So, <clears throat> you look at an emotional and social division that is dividing our nation that is really at some regards outlining a blueprint worldwide that is emulated narcissistically playing out over and over and over again I mean come on now the United States is the greatest nation so much untapped wealth and and advancement scholastically that are not supported because of the source or or the the essence of where it comes from maybe because of bias and bigotry and but yet in the same breath we have people that stand on soapboxes with underlining agendas to promote a position that will only erode your community. That is why gentrification is so prevalent in a town near you, in a city near you, in a state near you all in the name of finance because at the end of the day the dollar bill doesn't have a gender it doesn't have a bias it is surmised by those who have compared to those who don't now with that being said you had the unfortunate case that played out with uh, in Dallas regarding the was it Amber Geiger uh, trial and and she was found convicted of murdering an innocent man there was so many wrongs in that but yet you had some people that wanted to wash that down and the question I ask on that is what does your heart say because you can't fool your heart and you could take that dynamic and 
flip it. Change the genders, the genders, change the demographics, and run the scenarios, and I guarantee you would get the same result. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And if you have any ethics, you should not feel ashamed because that will not afford you bias because that's called integrity. Now, I'm already 20 minutes in. And let's talk about this epiphany I had the other day. So, you know, I've come to the conclusion and I've said this time and time again. Not everybody is going to be afforded to know your story. Not everybody is going to be, not everybody's going to earn the right to know your name. But the ones that will be afforded the right to know your story, they will see a blessing. And it would also validate this too, because like-minded attracts like-minded. I know society says opposites attract, but the truth of the matter is, there must be a commonality we must all possess. Now, with that being said, I realize this. It does not benefit you at all to hold on to any wounds that you have within yourself. That means there's a responsibility and an obligation to yourself to first acknowledge it exists. You have to look at it. You have to to make a decision that it is time it is time it is no longer time to be given to afford robbing you of your smile of your intellect of the essence that makes you you did you hear me you cannot afford to waste that anymore. Now, I know I've said that countless times, but when you put all that together, you will find comfort in the person that you see in the morning every day. You will see value and your worth of your existence because you only got one. 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 Now, I could turn around and romanticize you and say, well, yes, your life story is only, has already been written from your first breath. But guess what? Isn't it still your responsibility how you paint your reality? May it be short strokes or long strokes or just splashes of action. Isn't it your responsibility? I would say so. So, I've come to realize this. I got a big old squirrel sitting on the side. See that? He's all. I know, right? Sitting on the side of my house. But I realize this, fam. It doesn't serve you to hold your dreams hostage. But keep this in mind, too. And this may be the stark, stark truth. You're going to have to find comfort in your discomfort. You're going to have to. 
and you're going to have to come to accept this. Not everybody's going to be able to witness it when it does. Look at that. See that? I guess he did a, what do you call it, a rocking bullwink. He jumped off the roof into the bush. That's all right, though. He survived. Now he's going under, going under my jeeps. But anyway, and this brings me to my final point. How bad you want your dreams to come true? Did you hear me? How bad do you want your dreams to come true? Because if you're saying bad, you also have to come to acceptance that you got to do the work. Yeah, I know we got the Mega Millions. I know we got the Powerball. And I know people hit every day. And I know there are million and one get rich schemes out there. But is it ironic? The people that are getting rich are the ones that put out the programs. They're the ones profiting. So the question is, why can't you do the same? Now here, here's here, here's the here's the here's that blind here's that blind curve in your life that you ain't gonna like. But I say this out of love. You gotta say goodbye. You gotta say goodbye to any distraction that is keeping you distracted from your dreams that might mean that friendship from the sandbox that might mean that kinship through those who look just like you in blood and bone family member you realize there are some family members that won't have the courage to tell you they are envious of your life which they shouldn't they shouldn't. They should celebrate that you are getting up every day. You are trying to live as responsible as you can. You are the exception. That is the proverbial reason why each one, teach one, is all about. Because we all have been afforded the opportunity to learn. But we learn at our own rates. And a lot of us learn when we get tired. You say, why are you saying that, Gerald? I feel your energy. You know why I tell you I'm saying that? Because you're going to have to come to find comfort in your discomfort to accept. You can't make nobody do anything. But you. So, if you're spending all this time trying to help your fellow man or woman and it seems like it goes in one ear and out the other, stop. Stop doing that. Because you basically have done this. You have indirectly put a chair and you are their audience. And at some times, or per, and really a lot of times, you are their keepsake. Why should they change when you are poor you're 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 basically poisoning your projection 
Why should I change when I got you? If I'm content where I am, respect it. Now, it might be too damn painful to watch. It's, I know. I know. I can hear it. I can hear it in the screen. Some of you may be at that point that you see that storm. You see that storm because you just came out of that storm. And all you want to do is say, hey, I didn't bend down that road. There's a lot of bumps in that road. There's a lot of debris in that road. There's a lot of potholes in that road. This ain't what you want, player. But guess what? Maybe, just maybe, when they get tired of having to get up, get tired of dusting themselves off, tired of making excuses. Because what's an excuse if you have no one to give it to but the person in the mirror looking back? Y'all remember when I used to always echo, <clears throat> do you know who you are? Because if you did, you would realize how blessed you are. But here's the thing about a blessing. A blessing means nothing if you don't claim it. And how can you claim something if you're not willing to acknowledge it exists? And if you're not willing to acknowledge it exists, how can you define the worth? Because the one thing we can agree on is this. Man will never be able to capture time. But man will learn to respect it through experience. Coin that. Yeah, you heard it first. Now I say this out of love because let me tell you something. I, I, made, a, I made a light joke about this a long time ago. And I said, you know, if Kim Kardashian made one penny off of her likeness because of the influence that she has done in the, in the female community, she'd be a trillionaire. She'd be a trillionaire. But if you realize how priceless your essence was, you would do you. And that's the problem, family, because a lot of people will not take the time to invest in ourselves. We are, we have become reactionary instead of being proactive. And I'm saying that, I'm saying that because still, with everything going on socially, there is still somebody making money through all the propaganda and the narrative that is put out there. And guess what? Propaganda and social narratives mean nothing unless you claim it. Unless you claim it. I do one better. Remember how I used to break it down and I said, an action cannot B, unless you first have a behavior. And a behavior cannot be unless you have a pattern, which a behavior is. But before that pattern can be solidified, it must first be a thought. And before that thought can have foundation, it exists by a word and is found here validated here and once this is in tune with this it bonifies that your foundation what you stand on your belief now let's be honest Life is not supposed to be peaches and cream 
It's supposed to be like the ocean. The tides ebb twice in 24 hours. It always, even a broken clock can be right twice in a day. But guess what? If you don't take the time to assess what makes your reality, how can you protect who has access to it? Hmm? Did I say something wrong? That's all I'm saying. So let's get back to the meat and potatoes. I'm going to bring this home. It does not benefit you to walk around with toxic intent or give validity to the things that will not enhance your growth or direction. <clears throat> For example, <clears throat> you tired of being broke? Why won't you acknowledge What's making you broken? That's what being transparent is about. But society has convinced the masses, excuse me, there was a fly on my knee, that fake it till you make it. No. Because when you fake it till you make it, if you're investing in faking it, you're not investing in what it takes. And it contradicts each one, teach one. That's what integrity is about. Now, we're not going to always agree on, on, on our positions. But one thing I can agree on is you deserve to have the best life ever. But nobody's going to do that for you. Nobody's going to do that for you. Because guess what? When you took your first breath and you came out your mother's womb, it was written then. You're going to have to invest. And unfortunately, some of us see every day where people's lives are cut short. From the youngest of young to those who are seasoned in their age. Now, I'm saying that to somebody because I got a feeling one of the things you're struggling with is your friendships and your ties because you feel that your loyalty is in question. Let me tell you something. Your loyalty only counts to yourself and the man above. That's it. That's it. And if you're holding your breath thinking that someone is going to turn around that corner, going to turn that cheek or, or turn that corner and, and they're going to do it at your beat of a drum per spring of your life you're doing yourself a disservice can people change people can change just like you breathe but guess what how are you going to change if you don't acknowledge what needs to be changed that's all I'm saying that's all I'm saying and I'm going to say that because you you deserve it. From me to you, you are loved. But it matters not unless you love yourself first. If you're not comfortable with the person in the mirror that, that meets you every morning, when you get the coal in your eyes, your breath smell like you who. I know you're laughing, ain't you? You don't know what love is. Stop putting yourself out there expecting it will be reciprocated back it will never be reciprocated back until you see your value and worth first that does not mean 
to take a position of conceit or selfishness. It is about being responsible. Queen, I've been telling you this for almost seven years. You can change your partners like you change your shoes. But the intended man that's going to come in your life to change your last name, he's going to be one of a kind. Like the Migos, he's going to walk it like he talk it. And it's going to be in love, not fear. You can't find peace of mind because of what you fold in your pocket. That don't work. And if you choose to disenfranchise yourself or devalue yourself because that's a come up. No, mama. You putting, you putting, you're allowing soul ties in you. Just like a tire can be changed, so can you. But that's another discussion. My videos are there for, for you. But it doesn't matter until you're able to find comfort in your voice. You shouldn't be the only time that you hear your voice is when you turn the octave up. When your greatest impact is silence. That's right, kings, queens. Your most powerful, powerful part of you is your presence not your might I love each and every one of you if you know somebody that may be going through something don't browbeat them try to talk to them do the right thing and if you're not equipped to do so pray for them I hope you guys have a great week sidestep the BS family. Put your focus on your dreams and go get it. Go get it. Because you're not promised tomorrow. I'm, and I told you, I'd already, I spoke this in existence. You know, this is about manifesting. This time next year, it's gonna, this is going to be a different change. And if you notice, as time progresses, my environments change, don't they? Yeah. Because this is part of my legacy. It's part of my story. And you're worth it. God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your work. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. If you're waking up this morning, and the first thing that you feel is fear, that ain't nothing but validation. That ain't that. That's the environment you shouldn't have been in to begin with. Same energy you put out is the same energy you're going to get back. But have the courage to change it. And that can't happen until you fall back in love with that person in the mirror that, see, that, that you see. When you start your day and when you conclude it, you're blessed. Peace.